Hey everyone, today's look is inspired by kind of um, a more 50s look with, you know, a very retro, like, ish cat eye, ish. Not necessarily a pinup look, but kind of focusing more on the liner. I'm going to show you exactly how to wing your liner perfectly, a tip that really, really helps. I think the key to making this look retro and kind of wearable at the same time, kind of glamorous, is softening the cat eye. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, you don't want to just do, you know, just a single straight, you know, so blunt line. Um, you really want to soften it. And I'm going to show you how to do that. A lot of you are like, how the heck do you soften color or smudge it when you use a liquid? I'm going to show you. Love it. I hope that you guys do too. And if you want to see how to do it, then keep watching. Alright, so for the eyes, we're just sticking with a very basic um, color application. And I'm going to start off with a base that's going to really just even out my eyelid space. Something that is completely matte. Nothing that has any shimmer to it. And this is Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. Alright, so we want to do a wash of a really natural but kind of, um, I don't know, color with a sheen. For me, that is grain. And really, this would work beautifully with any skin tone. And I'm just applying that all over my lid. Just packing it on. Alright, and then you want to take a medium tone matte brown. Folly to me is such a great color. I think everyone pretty much needs this color. I'm using a 217 type brush right on the tip of it. And I'm just going to swirl that into my outer V area. It's just a very basic, um, just very basic color and a very basic application to start. And you just really want to kind of um, focus that into this crease and then into the outer V. Just take it straight down so it creates a V shape, just like that. And then kind of blend it in back and forth, just about halfway over the lid. And then take a large brush in a color that's very light. This is Mylar. It's a perfect highlight shade. And I'm just going to do a very light wash of that on the brow bone. You don't want any harsh and colors. Here comes the part that really makes the look, because this is just basic, I mean, whatever. You really want to focus on the eyeliner for this. The very best liner, I think, for creating the perfect cat eye is the L'Oreal Carbon Black Liner Intense. And um, you can get this at the drugstore, and I think that L'Oreal, or no, the Lancome Art Liner is pretty similar. See, it has this little, you know, spongy thingy. And um, you're going to start midway. I do have a video on eyeliner, you know, but I'm just going to show you how to do it. You just apply it um, midway. Don't do anything to this outer part just yet. And then kind of work it in so that the thinnest application should kind of meet down. Now some people like to stop here. They don't like to go in very far. If you're using a product like this, this doesn't come off. Like To me, I hate it when I go very far down or I see someone that has and then it's smudged off right here and it just looks bad throughout the day. If you use a product like this that really stays put, you can put it down further and not worry about it so much. So you really want to get it very precise. It's so precise that I can hardly talk. And get it very, very thin right there. And don't worry about getting it perfectly straight because we're going to put some eyeshadow over it. Um, if you try to correct yourself too much with this, you're going to end up with a very, very thick, crazy line. And then you're just going, oh, you can't see. You're going to apply the outer wing. For this look, it's kind of important to get it, you know, pretty thick out there. But then don't redip. Just use whatever's left because you want it to be a very thin application. And just lightly sweep it up. So you make that really like hair thin wing. Alright. Now, for some, you may want to go thicker. For some, you may want to go thinner. I think for this look, though, it's kind of appropriate to really wing it out pretty dramatically. Now that's not it. Um, it still looks a little wet, so you want to make sure that it dries. So wait just a few minutes before going on to the next step. Alright, then you're going to take a very dark matte black eyeshadow, Max Carbon. It's the very best black in my opinion. You want to take an angled brush like the Mac 208 or a 266. This is a 266. And that is what I will be using. I do prefer the 208, but mine has decided to go missing. 
take the black just on the tip of the brush and it's very important that you basically tap off whatever is on there because you know tap it on the surface tap with your finger because you don't want all of the fallout to get on your face it is black and it will fall out what you want to do is just in padding motions go over the line that you created it's going to create a really matte solid line you just want to press the color into that middle part which that will actually help the liner stay put alright so when you get it all over everything you want to be careful with this outer wing because like this thin part the brush can really mess that up and take away from the whole preciseness of it it's okay if you smudge just a little color above it but you don't want to go below it because it can just end up looking like a big old mess so you should have a very thick matte black line as I said everyone's preference with eyeliner thickness is going to be a little different this may be way way thick for you this may be not very thick at all for you so just play with it and do what makes right, you comfortable next you're going to take a smaller flat brush like the MAC 242 which is like the little sister to the 252 see Hello. Um, take mylar that same color that we used on our brow put just a little bit in this inner tear duct area just to brighten it up we don't want to do anything crazy with white eyeliner in that inner tear duct area or anything but I am going to take some white and my favorite is in the MAC Fascinating Eye Coal right underneath the lashes make sure you don't smudge it into the lashes you don't want any of this white touching your lashes because the, lash, the bottom lashes need to be a little more dramatic than usual and then take the color down just a little bit so that when you look from the side it kind of has a nice width to it down here and then with a brush or with your finger you just want to kind of lightly smudge that out All right, and then my favorite is black mascara I'm using the covergirl lash blast definitely don't be afraid to add false eyelashes for this look it would look absolutely gorgeous with these really um, with a really dramatic line it's really really going to enhance it it's going to make your lashes look super thick which is what this type of eyeliner makes them look anyways it makes them look extremely extremely thick that's the whole point of eyeliners to make your lashes look thick alright so for my cheeks I wanted to use a color that's not too bright pink um, something that looked really classic this is a nice color it's called blush baby and I haven't used this in a while it used to be one of my absolute favorites apply a little bit to the apples of your cheeks and then to keep with the whole classic 50s inspired look, I used this lipstick by L'Oreal called Timeless Tawny. I just realized I use a lot of L'Oreal products. Um, this is awesome. I've talked about it before. It's one of my favorites. And um, literally, I've mentioned this in my favorites a lot. Love this. I've been using this for years. And it's an amazing color. This long wear formula, it's amazing. It seemed really cheesy, but this video was not endorsed by L'Oreal. So that's it. Um, it's very retro, it's very 50s, however, it's wearable, so I like that. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye!